Hey there, it's uh, John Cummins from Executive Medicine for your weekly health conversation. The uh, topic today is vitamin D. And uh, one of the questions is, well, you know, unfortunately we're all in lockdown. Um, so it may beg the question, well, you know, do I need to worry about vitamin D? So first of what is vitamin D? It's, it's a vitamin that's integral and essential for bone health. What I mean by that is specifically osteoporosis. There um, have been a lot of um, links with other diseases such as cancers, heart disease, inflammatory diseases and vitamin D. Um, and although I think this particularly came around with COVID in the States, that people that were dying with, with COVID were found to be more likely to be D deficient. But that may be an association rather than cause and effect. Because, for example, if I'm indoors all the time because I'm too unwell to exercise and my vitamin D level is low um, and I'm frail and I get a serious illness such as COVID, uh, my death may be due to the fact that I'm frail, uh, which is associated with vitamin D deficient, not, not being caused by vitamin D deficiency. So I hope you can all appreciate that. Um, so even though I think there is some buzz around vitamin D being responsible for a whole lot of things. At the moment in 2021, it's only really bone disease which we implicate vitamin D as a cause of aging for. So where do we get vitamin D? Well, vitamin D, 80 to 100% of it comes from sunlight and uh, our skin basically converts a precursor into vitamin D, which then gets metabolized by the liver and the kidney. So um, what we also appreciate, people like myself, we work indoors most of the time. And the recommendation is to get 20 minutes of sunlight of arms and face full exposure, or it could be legs and face or arms and legs in summer, uh, avoiding the midday sun, or 40 uh, minutes a day in winter. And, and probably midday sun is not so important from a, a sunburn, therefore cancer risk perspective. I think a lot of us are, are forgetting this, that uh, we spend a lot of time indoors, we go to gym indoors, we're locked up in COVID, etc., etc. But it's really important to get outside, bang your bones on the pavement to make your bones strong, but get some sun exposure. And please don't be shy, particularly in winter. So what about the food sources? Well, in Australia, it's mandated that um, low-fat oily spreads such as margarines are fortified with um, uh, vitamin D, so you will get uh, them there. Some milks um, uh, have voluntary vitamin D. We will also find vitamin D in fatty fish, such as salmon, mackerel, uh, sardines, for example, particularly fish livers. But I think if you buy fish and eat them, um, the, the, the vitamin D there is, is, is reasonably substantial. Um, but I really wouldn't rely on a dietary source. I would rely on sunlight as the main um, uh, uh, source for our vitamin D. And so how do we know that we're vitamin D deficient? It requires a blood test. We don't, I don't do it personally, all people at all times. So I will do it occasionally in someone just to have a look. And the other really interesting thing, and, and this is why you actually need a, a, a top health profession in your life, is that there have been studies done looking at the same blood test, same person, uh, testing in different laboratories. And the laboratories will give you different results depending upon the reagent that they use. And also, although the, um, the current accepted what's, what's a healthy vitamin D level is not known, uh, I think most people would say that under 20 nanograms per litre would be low. 50 is probably okay, 100 is probably ideal. And um, but even that's not internationally agreed upon. So at the end of all of this, what I would say to you is, look, um, make sure that almost every day you do get some sunlight exposure. Don't get burned because of a cancer risk, but don't be shy of exposing your, your, your face and your arms um, to ideally 40 minutes of sunlight in winter, 20 minutes in, in summer. You do store vitamin D, so even if you don't get it consistently, the vitamin D um, stores will protect you for a while. It's also important to notice that as we age, we have less active exposure, so we probably, sorry, conversion, so we probably need more. And if you're dark skinned, um, the, mel the, the, uh, the melanin in your skin will block sun exposure, so you will need more um, sunlight for a given effect as well. So just a little segue from lockdown, just get outside, get to the sun, don't be shy. I think a lot of us are now too shy of getting some sunlight. Um, as it is important, particularly for bone health and, and false prevention later in life. Hope you're well and uh, we'll see you soon.